Although the European Union has a generally good record in human rights, there's still a lot more to be done, especially in areas like racism, xenophobia, discrimination based on gender and sexual orientation, and not to mention migration and asylum issues. Well, this week here in Brussels is the director of the Fundamental Rights Agency, the European Union's Fundamental Rights Agency, Mr. Morten Kerem, and he's joined me here today to tell me a bit more about this report that you've actually brought along to show our viewers you can pop it up there. So thanks yeah. for joining me here for a coffee. So tell me. Thank you for the invitation. My pleasure. Situation generally in the EU deteriorating. Is it improving with regard to human rights? I think if we look across the 27 member states, I think generally we see positive trends. Things are moving forward uh, in a number of areas. But of course, as our annual report really illustrates that there are still a lot of challenges deep problems in specific areas and I would say across the 27 member states so for nobody it's time for complacency everybody have to focus on what are the issues mm. in my particular uh, area and tell me one thing does your report name and shame do you pinpoint countries that have been um, disrespecting or violating human rights our our mission is not to name and shame. Our mission is to try to see how can we move these things forward, create, so lift the human rights bar for everybody living in Europe. We don't shy away from naming countries, but it's always, so to say, in a context, but also looking at, at the bad things, negative trends, development, as well as the positive. So the overall aim of the report is to see how can we move the human rights situation to the better for all of Europe. Because I'm sure last year you must have had the major case study of France. I mean, there was a huge political ping-pong game taking place between Vivian Redding, the Commissioner for Justice, and the President of France, Sarkozy, about the, the people that were deported, the Roma people who were deported, and the children. Did you follow up on, the, on this violation of human rights in your report? Certainly, I think uh, in the human rights world, I think 2010 will, uh, summer 2010 will stand out as a milestone, uh, simply because what happened last summer was that the issue of Roma uh, moved from being in the periphery of the human rights agenda uh, political fora and uh, elsewhere into this center stage. Mm. So now the Roma uh, is is a key issue. We have just received the communication, a very powerful communication from the uh, Commission, which is a very good platform to keep on addressing this uh, appalling situation for Roma children, for Roma women, but also for entire Roma communities. So there's a big task here, but I also see and sense a commitment, both at the very local level, municipal level, to the national, and of course to the EU level. Mm -hmm. Now we need to get all those, let's say, actors to sort of say join up uh, their efforts, so efforts can be be emphasized and and sort of say changes can. So we don't take have a root. similar situ situation this August in 2011. Of course, there are no quick fixes in this. I mean, there are no let's say magic solution. So it will be a, a long stretch, but at least it should be a focused stretch where the resources available are used to the. Uh, or the, is optimised the use of the resources. OK, let's move on from Roma and talk about um, people with disabilities within the European Union. I believe seven of the 27, only seven of the 27 EU countries actually allow certain people with disabilities or mental health problems to vote. How do you feel about that and what exactly is the Fundamental Rights Agency doing to improve that situation? I mean, we made it, that data available and I can tell you when we talk with member states about it and sort of say make them aware of it, a number of them, it almost came as a surprise. It was a thing they hadn't really thought of. So now we see in a few member states that they are changing so they actually get access to, to vote. And this illustrates very well exactly what it has done to Europe that we have now ratified the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. That we move that we move from the social, the medical approach, mm. kind of group approach, to focus on the individual, the rights of the individual. Okay, and just finally one thing about asylum. Now, that's a huge topic this year with the whole Schengen um, saga. Can, we, can you just mention that? Um, I know it's related to 2011 and this report is regarding to 2010, but what do you think about this whole situation now, about Europe um, trying to have stricter border controls, etc.? I think we have we have a big problem here where Europe needs sort of say, to have a much higher level of, of solidarity among the countries in order to take off the pressure on some of the countries at the external borders. We made a report in the beginning of this year on the situation in Greece, the mm. detention facilities, access to to the asylum procedures, etc. And here we have profound human rights 
problems. I mean, the situation in the detention centers is not acceptable from a human rights perspective. So one thing is that you have a humanitarian crisis, but that doesn't mean that you necessarily have human rights problems. But what we see at the border today is let's say, a human rights crisis, and we need to address it. And of course, a number of different ways it can be done, let's say with resources, which where the commission is already assisting the Greek uh, government. Uh, but also maybe in, in looking more carefully into uh, solidarity measures. We know from other refugee situations in other parts of the world that solidarity is a key way to ensure protection of people's uh, fundamental rights, asylum seekers, others seeking protection. Okay, Morten Karam, the Director of the Fundamental Rights Agency um, for the European Union. Thank you very much for having me a coffee thank, with me. Thank you very much. Right.